I'm sitting here by my friend, the eel. Now, most people think an eel, but no, nah, eels are so cool. Matter of fact, there's one kind of eel that has this amazing life cycle. It starts out in the Sargasso Sea, which is down in the Caribbean off of Florida. They lay their eggs 1,500 feet below sea level. Now, the little tiny eggs hatch, and you get billions of tiny eels that get caught up in the Gulf Stream where they're swept northward. Some of them end up in the northern part of North America near Canada, others head all the way across the ocean to Europe. At this point, they have started to develop eyes. They've been blind this whole time, just following the Gulf Stream. Then they swim upstream, and for the next five to seven years, they eat voraciously. Anything alive, dead, moving, laying there, they're just sucking it up and eating and eating and eating, getting bigger and bigger, until they mature. At that point, they swim back down to the ocean. They stop eating for the rest of their lives. They've never found food in an e fully grown eel's stomach, but they are neither male nor female this whole time. They follow the Gulf Stream all the way across back to the Sargassian Sea, go 1,500 feet below, and then they develop into an, either a male or a female where the eggs are fertilized, and they lay their eggs to start the cycle all over again. Now think of all that's necessary. They have to know to follow the Gulf Stream. They have to know to swim upstream and eat. They have to somehow develop a sex after they fully mature. They have to be able to survive for weeks or months without eating while they travel back across the ocean to where they can lay eggs again. See, all of these things had to have been designed by God for our amazement so we could enjoy and study such an amazing creature.